Question number 28 can be solved easily if you know the rule for arithmetic sequence. What is the 45th term in the series which starts with 3 and then 6, 9, 12, and so on? We know that any term a n, n is the nth term, so if we're talking about the 45th term, that means a45, equals a1, the very first term in this series, plus n minus 1, the number of the term you're looking for, minus 1, times d. And d is the difference between any two consecutive numbers in this series. So here, 3, 6, 9, 12, our d, our difference is 3, right? It's plus 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9, and so on. a1, our first term here is 3. n is 45, because we're looking for the 45th term. So a45 the 45th term that we're looking for equals a1, which is 3, plus n minus 1, 45th term minus 1, so 44, times d, the difference, 3. Now, 44 times 3, 40 times 3 is 120, 4 times 3 is 12, so that's 132. So 132 plus 3 will give you 135. Answer is a. Okay, let's do number 29. Which of the following is closest to 2? Now, we know that the difference between each of these answer choices and 2 is what matters. Since we want something that is closest to 2, so we want a number with the least difference between it and 2. So if we look at A, the difference between 2.009 and 2 is... 0 0.009. That's a very small number. If you look at B, the difference is point zero point zero one one. Now that's a bigger number because here you have something in the second place after the decimal point, right in the hundredth. But here, the first number you have nine is smaller. It's in the thousandth place. So B doesn't work. C, 198 over 100. Okay, 198 over 100, as if there's a decimal point here, and I move it twice to the left. So that equals 1.98. What's the difference between 1.98 and 2? It's 0 0.02, right? Add that to 1.98, you get 2. Again, a is smaller, because this is still 100th. Let's go to 200 over 99. OK, 200 over 99, how do we do this? We ask ourselves. Okay, I want it to be over uh, to be something over 100, right? So I can easily manipulate that. But is there another way? Let's see. What's 200 over 99? We can say it's almost 200 over 100, which is 2. That doesn't work because all of the answers are very close to 2. I want to know how close this answer is to 2. So what do I do? I say what is 2 what is 2 when you have a denominator of 99 meaning what over 99 equals 2 double 99 right the double of 90 is 180 double of 9 is 18 so it's 198 right 90 times 2 is 180 9 times 2 is 18 180 plus 18 is 198 so 2 equals 198 over 99. How far away is this from 200 over 99? It is 2 over 99 far. So that's the difference. Now you can approximate. 2 over 99 is almost 2 over 100, which is 0 0.02. Even if you're not, you don't have an accurate answer, you still know that you're having something only in the tenths place, okay? So that's much bigger than A, so D doesn't work as well. Let's go to final E. 2 minus 1 over 101. We're looking for the difference between each of these answers and 2. Here it's 2 minus, so this is the difference right away. So how, how far away is E from 2? It's 1 over 101. Well, we can say 1 over 101 is almost 1 over 100, 
which is going to equal 0 0.01. Again, you're still talking in the 10th place. So again, much bigger than A. A will be the final answer. Okay.